Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and today's video is exciting because it's a bit of a throwback to the old type of content I used to make because today we are buying the cheapest item on a luxury slash designer website and that is Balenciaga. In the past I have bought the cheapest items on Tiffany & Co and Burberry and I thought today it would be fun to buy the cheapest item on such a trendy brand right now. Everyone is obsessed with the Balenciaga sneakers. I personally don't really like them but that is just my opinion so I thought it'd be fun if you and me go into Balenciaga together and see what their cheapest item is. But before we get into that I just wanted to say that this video is inspired by Pink Sparkles. She was the first person I believe Leave to do the cheapest item on a designer website and she is the queen of it so I will link her channel down below if you want to go check out hers but without further ado let's go into Balenciaga's website and see what we can find and hope it's cheap. Okay I have my laptop here and I'm gonna move over so that you guys can see what I see on the Balenciaga website. So we are in. I'm gonna go into the all section and um, wow, there are a lot of categories. Let's go in ready to wear. I doubt this will have the cheapest stuff, but I mean, it's fun to look. Let's just get a feel for how much things cost. So the cheapest ready to wear item is a men, well, I don't know if it's men's, but it's a man wearing it. A polo shirt for $465. I hope that isn't the cheapest thing because I do not like that shirt. It doesn't look very flattering at all. Let's next go bags. I don't really know what type of bags Balenciaga does. I think they're mainly well known for their shoes. So let's see what their cheapest bag is. And their cheapest bag is one of these little pouches and it's $615. That's even more expensive. No, thank you. The next category is shoes. Oh goodness. The Balenciaga shoes, the plague of fashion. No, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> fashion is, of course, different for everyone. Just because I don't like it, that means nothing. So let's see what the cheapest shoes are. And they are Balenciaga slides. I swear, I see so many people wearing these. I don't know why. They're just like plain black slides, say Balenciaga. But people love wearing them. And they're very expensive, $745 just for a black pair of slides. But I expensive. Let's go into jewellery. I highly doubt jewellery will be the cheapest unless there's like, I don't know, a cheap chain or something. So far the cheapest item is the shirt, so I'm hoping. <laughs> oh good, <laughs> there's something cheaper. So that is an earring here for $280. Doesn't say um, a pair of earrings, it just says earring. Does that mean you just get the one? I think you just get the one earring. I don't think it's both. I could be wrong, but yeah, no, earrings are sold individually. So it's $280 for one earring. You can have it in one ear, but not in both. You, you gotta pay double for that. So far, that's the cheapest item, one earring for $280. It's a cool design, but I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing special. <laughs> Let's go in to the accessory section and view all because I feel like this will have the cheapest item. Usually on these fashion websites, it's the accessories that are the cheapest. Okay, the website keeps glitching and even though I keep pressing like go to all accessories, it's only showing me wallets. So we're gonna have to go through it individually. And the cheapest wallet is $465. Thank goodness the earring is cheaper <laughs> because I don't want that. The cheapest cap is $500. It is for their world food program. So that's a good cause, but it's not the cheapest item, unfortunately. We're in the last category of accessories now. Oh, second last, sorry. So we're in the other accessories. Let's hope there's something cheaper than $200. Oh, there's something cheaper. Okay. There are a pair of socks, which they've called tights. For $135 and it looks like you can pick between black and white. Fun! I'm gonna go with white because I feel like the, these socks paired with a pair of heels could look pretty cute. $135 is a lot of money for a pair of socks so uh, hopefully there's something cheaper but there's only one category left in the accessories and it's the winter 18 book. I don't really know what that is but let's see. Oh it's cheaper! Okay, damn it! <laughs> This book is cheaper than the socks. It is the Balenciaga Winter 18 book. So it says it's the runway backstage book by Johnny Dufour and Pierre-Ange Carlotti, Carlotti, something like that. And it's the cheapest item. It is $125. 
We've looked everywhere else. The only section left now is kids, but I have a feeling that this book will be the cheapest, which do I really want to pay that much for a book? No, I don't. <laughs> The book also isn't that cute, so... Alright, we're in the kids section, and the cheapest kids item is $250 for a pair of little tracksuit pants, which wouldn't fit me anyway, so that's good. So it looks like the winner is the Balenciaga Winter 18 book. It is $125, and that is the cheapest item on Balenciaga. So I'm going to buy this. I'm going to spend 125 Australian dollars on a book that I don't know what I'm going to do with. So I will see you guys in a few days when this very expensive book arrives. All right, it is a few days later now and I have this massive box which inside has the cheapest item from Balenciaga and I am very excited to open it up. It's been sitting in my room for a few days until I could film and I've been dying to open it up because it's such a big box for a book. So let's open it up. All right, let's open this together. Oh my goodness. So there is this Balenciaga envelope and a bunch of tissue paper. And in the envelope is just the receipt, the returns label, a little thank you note from Balenciaga in English and French, and then the note that I personally wrote to myself. So when you are checking out a Balenciaga, you have the option to make it a gift where you can put in a note. So I, of course, did that and I wrote, Fashion is the most powerful art there is XX, which I fully agree with and thought it would be perfect to match this expensive, very expensive fashion book. Now that we've opened those, let's undo this tissue paper. Underneath the tissue paper, this is what we have. It is a Balenciaga bag, which um, I am definitely going to keep. And then inside, ta-da, Jesus, this is massive, is the cheapest item on Balenciaga, this fashion book that is an interesting style. It's really big. I didn't read uh, like the sizing, how big it is, but it is a big book and I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it, but let's open it up and look inside. I've just taken it out of the packaging and it definitely has that new book smell. It also has a very soft finish, which is very nice. And it's just a book. It is very high quality, I must say. So you open it up and this is the inside. Then there is another, oh, then it just goes straight in, sorry. So it's just a bunch of pictures of like the fashion brand, as you guys can see here. I used to study fashion, so I reckon if I bought this like a year ago, this would have been perfect because it would have been perfect for like a lot of assignments and stuff. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm definitely gonna look through every page because it is very inspiring, like the background and stuff. And I especially love, I mean, the last page is such a vibrant pink color. But yeah, that is the cheapest item on Balenciaga. A uh, very, very expensive book. Uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. I definitely wanna keep it and like use it somehow. I would use it as decor in my room, but my room is very like, neutral colors and then there's this so if anyone has any suggestions for what I could do with this let me know. I also also this pages look really cool as you can see like the design continues all down there. So a lot of thought and effort has gone into this book by Balenciaga and if you are really into fashion it would definitely be like a bible. It's amazing but um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And that is the cheapest item on Balenciaga. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Saturday on this channel. And be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel because I'll be uploading on that every Thursday. So my uploading is Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So be sure to subscribe to both channels so you don't miss out on that. 
And if you want to see more of my face or what I end up doing with this book, then be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. My links are down below and on the screen right now. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little throwback to the old content I used to make. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!